what's up? Whew. So, I just woke up today. Um, I'm in the garage. You can see this why it has this huge echo in here. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's picking up here. It's a huge echo. Um, but today, I got to clean the garage out. I got a, a couple of reviews coming today as well. Um, so you're probably going to see me in this shirt and these shorts and all that a couple times. Um, what else? First, I got to clean up this garage. It's pretty dirty. And once I get that finished, I got some stuff to hang up. I got this right here. Probably can see it. I got that up. That's my rat cage. Um, I got to put up some, like, what you want to call it, uh, that little rack system so I can hang up all my, like, uh, brooms and mops and uh, the lawnmower thing that I have. I need to put that up there. Um, get it all organized in here because, you know, this gym, is this garage is going to turn into a gym. Um, but I'll still be able to park my car on this side. So don't want to be taking up one space, really. So that's what really I got to do right now. I just got to clean this up, get it organized, and then we'll start unboxing stuff and putting stuff together so that way I can create this home gym. I'm tired of going to the gym. So much easier if you're able to have your own home gym, be able to work out at your own time. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I plan on doing right now. And uh, we're going to get this process started. something Whew, sorry for breathing hard because I'm out of breath <laughs> anyways <clears throat> so all this uh, uh, weight stuff and, and you know machines and things that I got is all from Walmart uh, I was trying to be in an inexpensive gym I didn't want to you know have to spend a whole bunch of money I'm trying to stay under $800 um, for everything just trying to build something cheap and expensive but something that's functional too so start off I got this the power cage, um, it's by Pro Gear, right down there. And I did a lot of reviews on this, and it seems like it's a really good gym. You know, I've seen a lot of reviews, a lot of people saying it's sturdy, it does the job that they need. It holds up to 800 pounds, um, and that's way more than I can live for a squat, so not even worried about that. <clears throat> Next, I have a landmine, and I got this off of Amazon. Uh, it's not a real durable one for what I heard like if you're trying to do Heavy 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 weight, which I'm not going to be doing um, But it, it'll, it'll, it'll be suitable for what I'm using it for you know, I got some cheap uh, 40 pound each dumbbell set from Walmart. I got some cap um, bell, um, Weights on the end 45 pounds. I got two plates of those and then I got some 25s and um, these are not bumper plates, they're just regular, you know, metal plates and all that. And the rest of this stuff right here is just like the, um, the clamps that go on the end of it. Um, just little things here and there. That's for my setup 
But this is not everything. See, I only got just 245s, 225s to start with. I'm going to get a whole bunch more weight um, coming up. I just had to get something to start so I could start doing bench presses and just start doing some little landmine workout, land workouts. Just something to get me going for the time being. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, from further ado, we're actually gonna start unboxing this stuff. All right, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead, cut these bad boys open, and do my first impression on these things. So, I apologize off the top. If you see me sweating, it's hella hot in here, and I live in Texas. <laughs> so, it's that time of the year where it's just gonna be blazing hot, which is perfect why I wanna have a garage gym. Um, just for those reasons alone, that it gets super, super, super hot. I can make this a sweat box, and I can just go in here and get a workout in, a great workout in, and not have to worry about anything. Um, if the lighting isn't too good, I apologize. The sun is not totally out right now. It's very humid, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start early in the morning. The sun isn't really out, so let's just try to get this done. You know what I mean? Sorry, that was my Bluetooth disconnecting the speaker. Really, all I need for what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to tone up and build. So, I won't really open this. 
this one. I'll open it later when my gym actually gets set up and it's functional, and then I'll show you this. So, what I got from eBay is these collars that go on the end. And this is called the Power Guidance. That's the company, Power Guidance. And they're just so powerful. They're going to end. They're blue. Let's see. And I come on eBay for 10 bucks. And actually, man, they feel solid. They feel solid. I love the color blue. Blue is my favorite color, so I had to get them in blue. And online, Walmart didn't have any more, so I was looking around. I was like, eBay probably got them. Um, but it feels solid, to be honest. I love the way it clicks like that. So I think these are going to be fine. Like I said, I'm not pushing, you know, 800 pounds on the bar. No, not having it at all. So I'll be fine. This is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to slam away or anything. And, um, once I get to that point where I'm slam away, I'll probably get some better ones. If these feel a little wings like they're sliding, then I'll probably get some more, get some better ones. But for right now, the quality feels straight. I don't have an issue with this. It's plastic. It's supposed to be real durable plastic. It feels like it's durable plastic. Um, and I, I, I like it. I like it. I love the colors, especially. So right now, I'll give eBay a big plus on this. Not bad. Ten bucks. For those. Last but not least. We got some weights. Now, I was concerned with these weights. The packaging is horrible. Actually, <clears throat> when the guy who dropped them off, um, I think it was UP, yes, I said it's one too. They were telling me, like, yo, Walmart has the worst packaging on anything that's heavy. It's always flimsy. He was like, I spend more time taping up boxes than I do delivering them because they rip so easy. And it's not, he's not telling a lot. When he brought it to me, I said, I was extra taping. Like, he just took it and just wound it up real quick so it wouldn't slide around. And this bottom was completely broken open. So I'm hoping the weights on the inside is not damaged. Um, and I will open it later once I get this gym set up. But once I get the bar and I can put them on there, then I'll open these up. So for right now, that is my, you know what? 